So boom. I so that's boom. pretty much all the footage we had from the day that um, we actually heard our sample on uh, Drake's More Life on OVO Radio. It was exciting last time, so we weren't even thinking to vlog much. It's definitely some cool shit. A lot of people are asking how to go down. Do we know that we were sampled? Um, yeah, we knew we were about to be sampled. Um, we didn't tell anybody because me and Jermaine have this thing where hold on, first like we have the worst luck ever. Yeah. So if some like good shit's going down, we don't say shit. We learn not to say shit because every say single shit. time like, it's never failed us. Every single time we tell a bunch of people before it actually happens, it just something goes wrong and then we gotta explain a lot of shit. So we didn't say much. Um, what happened was boy one day hit me up and he's just like, yo, something crazy happened. We're on a FaceTime and he's like, yo, Drake actually put you guys on more life. And then I thought it was a joke because he was like, Wonder was smiling a lot. And me wanted to tell like a lot of jokes at all times the normal. So I thought it was just a joke. So I'm just like, yo, you're lying, blah, blah, a lot of that talk. And he's like, no, like he really put you guys on more life. He wants to get in contact. So I asked you guys if it's okay to use it. And I was like, yeah, for sure. Um, they want he said they want to get in contact with you. Keyword they. I didn't know who they was. Last person I thought uh was Drake. Um, I get the text and it was Drake. It was crazy because I just didn't expect Drake to text me. I'm just like, yo, who this? I hit him with a who this? Cause this is a random number. I'm like, it was like three Z's. Yeah, yeah, two Z's, two Z's, two Z's. Mm. I'm like, yo, who this with a backwards question mark? And he's like, it's Drake. And I was like, oh shit, what? And then uh, he just, he, we started talking about the project and then our, our sample on there. And he's saying he's hyped to have a city on there. I'm just like, yo, like, I'm just grateful to be on there. Thank you for, for doing that. And then um, we just had to wait till the date to come out. And then um, I kind of knew what, I knew what was on there, but we didn't know exactly what part. I didn't really want to know. I kind of wanted a surprise and, and experience it with you guys because like you guys know, uh, I feel like we are a family and it's just like experiencing it together. Would have been cool, so I'm just like, you know what? This so thing much. is way too cute. This, these guys just knows how to say cute stuff. But yeah, so we just want to experience it with you guys, and, and that that same excitement. If you guys follow us on Snapchat and and, and Instagram was was uh, was our reaction to hearing it for the first time. And uh, we want to thank you guys for support, man. That's some cool, cool shit. Then right after that, a bunch of cool articles from the, I know the Fader wrote about it. Mm -hmm. uh, Much wrote a dope article about it. Genius did a cool cool little thing about um, all the samples on Drake's tape, and they included ours, like the actual video and shit, which I thought was really cool. And uh, uh, yeah, it was just honestly it was a great experience and, and I'm humble for it. I want to thank you guys. T. Goonscribe DVD. We knew it was a special one, but we didn't know it was this special. Mm. So, uh, without further ado, enjoy the motherfucking vlog. Yo, what up, Young Lee? Finally, man. What up, man? You see the do rag, right? Hey, I see the do. Hey, man. I'm about to get my shit braided soon, so I'm gonna be back do rag, bro. I'm missing my do. I bet your do rag collection's weak. You sound stupid. I got one that you got on right now. What is bro. that? Bro, this is the White Iverson, bro. Bro, this is pink, though. That's what. That's where you're wrong, I though. I know. Hold on, big fella. I ain't done. What? You bro. see my traffic light do rag? Stop fronting, boy. <laughs> With this song, God damn it. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Quick unboxing. Yo, shout out to Persona. I didn't even like he saran wrapped the fitted. I told him, yo, this is my favorite one. He said, yo, let me saran wrap this for These are the same guys that sent us a Hennessy hat. He sent me a Chanel one. I like this one. This one wave. Yo, yo, what is what, what? this one? Nice, huh? <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, welcome to the segment where this nigga just read by himself. Son? They put the fade on me? Look at the fade on me. So we got we got about a hundred pins. We're gonna hand out. We gotta figure out how we're gonna give these out to you guys. I wish we had these earlier because I would have gave them out to like the first hundred people to order a shirt. Oh shit, what's this? Oh, these are like the um Oh, oh is this like the fish eye? Oh, this yeah. one's a fish eye. That's wavy. But like how does it what all right? So they sent us two two camera lenses for our, our phones. I think it's good for any phone. Uh I'm pretty sure this one looks like a macro and this one looks like a fish eye. Alright, so six man sent us two packages, not too sure what's in them, but I'm gonna open yours, alright? Hello, beard shit, son. Came with the beer brush. What we got here? I don't know what this. Oh no, we got beer shampoo, so it may be. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You see it right here. It say, it say, use that. That's, that's beer shampoo right there. That's beer shampoo right. This is your beer shampoo. We got beer oil, beer shampoo, and then we got the beer bomb. Beer bomb. Beer bombs. It's for y'all. And we wanted to swing you, man. It's a nice look of present. One hoodie. It's a six in the CN Tower. What's this say? We Julian, you right, cursor? What's this? Say? <gasps> what? Got a little abstract art going on. Damn, son, thank you, man. And we got last box here. I saw small boxes. Oh, well, we got some the DJI Mavic Pro. Yo, I'm low key terrified to crash the shit out of this. I think I'm gonna be a better, better captain. I think I'm gonna be. Oh, shit. 
Yo, shouts out to DJI, man. I'm excited to use this Mavic Pro. Um, I already know Jay bought the crashes, so I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and order some propellers. Yo, just know the, the vacation vlog about to be decent. I don't want to hype it up too much, but it's going to be all right. It's going to be like two out of ten. It's so cute. Turn on so and off the power. Fuck it, let's fly. <laughs> I so boom. Yo, thank you guys for sending all this. Um I so lens cap deactivated. Microphone. Activated. Maximum cutie pie mode activated. Durag mode activated. Now the time is currently whatever time I have on the screen. The shit probably wrong, but I've been putting the wrong time on all my shits that y'all been watching. So uh right now I gotta shoot this. So. Yo, what's good, buddy? Yo, we in LA. I right, calm down. Right now, we aim for Jermaine. He's, he's uploading the video right now. I right, we hear what we'll lead. Please just fucking hurry up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's I'm saying so long. Look at the foot. He's impatient. Look at this. Just so. <sighs> look at this shit, dude. Look at, look at my feet. I'm fucking freaking out right now, man. Can you hurry the fuck up? So, I'm gonna give you, while we waiting, I'm gonna give you a little tour of the place, all right? This is the place! Check into our Airbnb, and we got here a little bit late, but I was looking over the rules and shit, and it said, don't go on the roof. We're up on the roof now. Huh. Huh. Only reason why I wanted to come up here is because they said, don't come up here. And we got a drone, so I want to try it out. You want to fly in the pitch black, bitch? Like, yeah, it'll be fine. What do you, what do you think? I say 1500 is gonna go down the trash. You think don't do it? No, I know don't do it. Okay. It's not even pitch black. I can't even see you right now. First time flying a drone ever in our lives. All right, let's do it at top of a sketchy building. There's a lot of other sketchy buildings around here. Everest turned a corner. Yo, so and niggas get scared. So she about fall on a car, then it's gonna explode, and the police are gonna come. <laughs> so I, I guess I guess we're going back downstairs because uh, these guys are too no, scared no, to fly. Do you guys want to fly? Yeah. Okay, we should right. do it. Yes. Let's do it. Play. Right, right. Do it. Let's do it. We don't have the phone to fly the drone. So Wait, I guess. You guys did the DJI app? Huh? Cause I have the app. You have the app? DJI? You have a drone? No. This the living room. This the kitchen. This the stove. This the washroom. This the bedroom. This the... What is this? This something. Get that Hawaii body ready. Come on, son. What do you think, huh? Bro, what's the deal? You know the parking at? Right, so oh, fuck. Now you going to buy it. It's a cool big fella. I don't know. It smell good, though. Yes, that's what these is for, big fella. Oh, Trey, you better put your, you gotta put your knees in the, in the trunk, bro. You got to. <laughs> How tall you, Malik? I'm 6'2", bro. I'm not, I'm not scooting my shit back. <laughs> no, you can get back there, No, though. I'm not getting you back. You can get right here, bro. <laughs> what I look like. Bro, you drive like a 7'3", though. It shit don't make no sense. You good? It's not, it's not that bad, but it's bad. You yeah, how you do this? What? No, no, no. On the side. You don't see the button. That's it? Oh. Nigga, you want it. All right, go out of the back. Who, me? I'm, uh, yo, but look at my neck. Nigga, point your tailbone look to the back of the shit. Look at my neck. This is what happens when 6'3 and up. Actually, I'm 6'2", he's 6'. 6'2. 6 2 and Jay is 7 11. What was you hungry for, big dog? Anything else. We can just We're going like, to, you said it. Hollywood, right? Yeah, because it's like halfway, it's like kind of in Korea Town, kind of in Hollywood. We go to Hollywood, like where the uh, pretty sure around there. I have the address, we can just type it in and see where it's at. But. Yeah, yeah, do that first. Yeah, this nigga just saying shit. Y'all ever been to Rodeo? I, Rodeo? Did I drop outside? Rodeo? I want to eat shit first. What's that? What? So where would we go? I'm trying to figure out where should I have old boy Link with us. Is that out the way? Where you, where? Let's just go to. Uh, say, say where you would want to eat at. Yeah. Was it the street? Did, I, did I didn't give it to you? I don't remember that. 
Say the place. Really, I didn't have any place. I, was, I just don't know where the fuck we going. You know what I'm saying? Yo, any, like, what's, what areas around that? So this is pretty much how all our days start, nigga. Start with a bunch of niggas asking questions with each other and, like, not actually giving each other good answers. What you want? Yeah, I don't know about it. Just place over there. It's in the middle of here in the middle of Hollywood. All right, let's go to, is that out the way? Not really. I'm not, I'm not really tripping, bro. Y'all niggas here, man. Y'all with me, man. The American niggas make me feel so comfortable, man. That's how I felt when I was at, at, at y'all place. I got to take care of my people. You feel, you, mean, you feel for a burger? Shit, honestly, I don't even know what. Right, so, boom, we're going to um, big ass houses to present flex and shit. We're about to take some hot ass pics for the gram. Gram game been a little weak. And after that, we're getting on this podcast uh, called The Apartment. Really dope show, man. They do great interviews. They got Fousey on that joint. They got Just Rain out there. They got Wally one time. Good shit. I'm excited for it. Jay Richards beard. It can be shampooed, it can be conditioned. It's Chio Pest uh, style, so hell. I still can't believe you got a beard. I feel like you tear that shit off at nighttime, put it on the dresser. <laughs> What else you gotta say? What else you gotta say? Yeah. I made this shit explode in the vlog, nigga. Let <laughs> me tell you right now, my biggest fear in life is random ass holes. I got nothing to do with shit in the middle of nowhere. You don't know what's in there if you're looking at you, who's responsible? <laughs> I'm scared now, cause see what I'm saying? Like, it's like you're shooting against the sun. He's like a blind, like a blind Lebanese guy who like started a, like a dandelion empire. Crazy how you get that. Look, like Asa Ferg's cousin. Come and get some flicks with me and we gonna get out of here. I hear a weasel in the bush. Alright, so our interview is at 4 o'clock. Um, I mean, we're pretty good on time right now. Should be there soon. Yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty alright on time. Should be there shortly. Should be there like any minute now. This is noise We're really getting close. I think we're closing in on the location. Once we get off this freeway and this is our exit come up, we'll be good. All right. Hey, I got the GT 2017. You already know how I'm rocking, man. I'm out there in five minutes, man. No, we don't go out on dates. No, we ain't spending. I haven't been in good weather for a long time now. My earlobes sweat. Right the the bro. Hey, how's it going, man? Last year we're staying, we're staying here for like a month, and we stayed with our boy for like the last like week. Oh, oh you're tripping man. like you just didn't say death elevator. This is the death elevator? This is death elevator, man. This was built. This building was built in the 20s, so like it's almost 100 years old. Do you see this? So oh, we're going first. Oh, it's one at a time. No, 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 one at a time. It's seven. It's can... the get out elevator. Yeah. God damn it! This is the part where you say now we're in the sunken place. Oh, bro, shit's even hard. Yeah. Everyone that I bring up your channel to the number one thing they always say is like the editing it looks like a lot of time goes into one video you know oh, like it's yeah. not a simple cut and drop with all a lot of the youtubers they start off really strong and then they're just like nah i don't really care enough to like make it detailed the thing is i like i really enjoy doing that shit yeah like i really sit there and then like i'm excited to edit okay. a vlog and everything so we didn't vlog at the start even when we did start it wasn't it wasn't too uh frequently that's because we didn't really like vlogs we yeah. found them boring we found it to be long and, and pointless it just felt so forced a lot of times like oh i'm going to my grandma's house and i'm like sitting down on the couch and then they force a couple conversations it was really uncomfortable so it's like over the years we sat back and, and watched everything that we didn't like yeah and made sure that we didn't do it so okay we hate that vlogs are born let me try my best to make every second very interesting although i'm in the group it's so exciting to watch what jermaine's gonna edit just now <laughs> um we're, we're taking some pictures uh with our friend Malik, and uh he's like yo what like let me show you what my car can do and yeah. he's revving it and i know like in his head he's like all right he's gonna make me look cool but jermaine's probably gonna make his car blow up I'm or something make like his that. Car <laughs> and a lot of people actually like ask us why don't you we daily vlog that's why we started to record behind the scenes on our snapchats we'll be like up at 6 a.m still editing so, so quality over quantity at this yeah point. the toku the tree guys are just still as passionate and you can like feel that passion and hear it. That was great. Yeah, man. I loved it. Dog, an hour flies by so fast. It was some good shit. Great question. Good interview. I'm excited for y'all to see that. Malik look like, you know, you, you, you gotta tie a tree up to ship it far as fuck. All right, so we at the Glenn Stewart's Observatorium. Yo, what's this shit called? We at the, uh, Will Smith Student Center. Uh, the, the what we, what's up? All right, so boom, we at the Griffith Observatory. Am I dark as fuck? Nah, you good. I'm about to swing on this camera soon. You go inside, no? No, you go on this side. Then you be saying shit like you live here and shit. Malik, where we go? Before it closes. I've been in this place on Grand Theft Auto. You go to the back. Actually, you know what? Let's do the outside first only because if you go in there, we're going to be in there for a while because it's like a museum in there. Told you. Probably getting $5 to say that shit. <laughs> you know what, y'all? For some reason, all of a sudden, Trey sound a little bit right. Damn. Bro, I'm so angry that I can't see shit. Forgot my damn glasses. I ain't seen shit all day. Son, this is when the Sony A7S II shines like a bitch. It's like pitch black. Okay, it's not pitch black. I'm wild. It's dark as shit. I feel like, although it's grainy, you can still see shit, which is like incredible. Feel like, my uh, phone right now is like pitch black. What? I feel like you should be here with a shorty, so I'm just gonna do this. Can't <laughs> get something to eat after? 
<laughs> bro, I really, I really did the get out move off a get out, bro. Look, I'm like, straight nose started bleeding and everything. So we're trying to check out, we're trying to check out Gunther's uh, depth. Gunther's depth. Gunther's. Gunther's depth. Gunther, Gunther's depth is down here. Oh, this is Gunther's desk. Who is Gunther? Gunther was shining though. Yeah, you know, ice. Bro, I'm kind of confused about who the fuck Gunther is and what this is about and why there's so many jewels. Holy. St. Ching's blessed Einstein with the new loud. Holy. Close me. The niggas couldn't build a wall over these pipes. Yo, that had to be the loudest sleep I've ever had in my life. Like trucks driving by, construction workers building shit, people dragging their feet and screaming, practicing the orchestra and shit. I heard two homeless people fighting over half a raisin, like really going to war over half a raisin. Hey, who took my half raisin? That my half raisin, you bitch. I, boy, I slapped the shit out you. Boy, I thought you so hard, mother. You homeless son of a bitch. Bitch, you homeless too. That's why you missing the shoe. I got something coming for you, homeless motherfucker. Today's our last day in LA. Short trip. Today we shoot with ADD. Wait the fuck up. I got breakfast. You feel? Yeah, I feel shady now for having you sleep on an Alcatraz bed. I was just sleep. Oh, it was great. Actually, yeah, where'd you guys get that? Look at this piece of shit. <laughs> no, 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 I actually need a breakfast. You sent me a week. It's not how you open. It's only a special reason why. I'm making me fat. <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. You enjoy this, huh? Did you have one? Oh yeah, I already ate. I ate there. Going for your brother too. Oh, Trey! <laughs> yeah, we talked about this last night. We were meant to surprise you. Yeah, yeah I'm not a big fan of burgers. Back out. Holy shit. Yeah, you're gonna scratch the curb. Oh, oh, one second. Hey, hop in! Yo, more. Charge the, the car today? Oh, shit! <laughs> Need to get to work. But where these, these niggas don't got work today? Yes. Karma came back around, bit me in the do rag. Cause we've been here for an hour, not doing shit. We rushed here. You don't fucking eat a donut. I'm gonna kick you out. It's too much. You're trying to make me fat, dog. No, man, it's okay to be fat. I think it's okay. You're not fat. You know, you're just a little thick. Bro, what are you hired to do? No, no, open your phone again. Uh. Casting call for Aladdin. <laughs> And then in the background, he's on world star. Every time I'm at home, he's texting me, and his responses are fast. This is what he's doing. Look, all you bro, he responds before you even send the shit. He'd be like, "What? Yo, Wally." Waleed, <sighs> you're awesome. Don't leave your girl around me. Yo, I fucking love this. That's fine. Save it louder. So what? You run shit? Oh, nah. <laughs> no, I said I gotta go shit. <laughs> He's constantly telling us that he runs his office. He only tells us when we're outside. Hey, Chris. Who runs his office? Not you. He was my first intern. You know that? He was like, Chris. Are you having an out of body experience? Because you're my first intern. <laughs> hey, Meg. Oh, first of all, you had the donut? Stop trying to peddle your donuts. Stop trying to peddle your fat. From cholesterol to people. You can talk to me like that? <laughs> Yo, who, who runs you in this office? The women. So it's not Waleed? I think you probably run like this area. Yo, it's a light guy. It's the run shit. You know? Oh, Sid. Nah, don't you fucking. Yo, who runs shit in this office? Yeah, uh, the dude sits right behind him, John Patterson. Yo. Nigga! Me! Shit, when I'm not here? Who runs shit? Yeah. Uh, a lot of niggas run their mouth. Nah, it's not Waleed. Yeah. <laughs> no, man, I keep the lights on, man. No, nigga, I, I beat you, man. I get you the stacks. What stacks? <laughs> All right, so shit, three hours later, he comes down and lets us know that we almost ready. Another like three hours and we're good. This is a set up. I'm like, I'm about to kill him. Bro, I don't know how to- She wanted to stab the fuck out of me. <laughs> Bro, wait, so are we really I'm filming? All, yeah, all right, boom, so we're in the wait, we're in the talent room. Fuck. How long have we been here? For like an yeah, hour? We're supposed to do a tub war and a cook-off and shit, we're here. Yeah. So this guy's being like extra weird, saying a bunch of weird shit. When he first walked in, he's like, oh, there's black people in Canada? That was all me. Listen, when he- I was scary. I thought I was gonna die at one point. She's like telling me to say stuff to you guys. I'm like, oh my god. Hey! You know she's being she relaxed. She has a mastermind behind she's her. Hello! Hello. 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 I was like, you know what? If he touches me, I'm about to I can punch him. Touch him. Make sure you touch him. Look at this shit! In the Kleenex box and shit! Bro, I was taking tissue out. I'm like, why the fuck is it toilet paper? I never thought once in my life I'd ever be pranked. I'm like, yo, I'm way too smart for this shit. We're onto it too though. At one point, Tron's like, yo, this, this shit gotta be a prank. So we started looking around for cameras and shit. But we're mic'd up, sitting in that room for an hour while they're getting ready. They said five minutes like seven times. I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers like 
preparing a tug of war for that long. Like they like braiding the rope and shit. I'm so mad at myself for not catching it. But now we really do have a bake off. We're supposed to uh, make kiss it, like have a quesadilla making contest shit or some shit like that. I don't know how true that is. You know what time is it? Uh, 1.30. Willie, what do you do at work? Oh shit, I gotta go back to go. I got I... Hey, fuck work, let's go. Yeah, bro, they, they won't even trip. You saw what everyone said about me, right? Not you. <laughs> I think you probably run like this area. Yeah, uh, the dude sits right behind him, John Batterson. Neat! No, it's not Wally. Careful. I mean, like, it's definitely not Wally, right? Oh, no. Wally's in charge of, like, flushing the toilets when people leave out of the restroom and forget to. Yeah. Hold on, brother, shit. You know, you're right. How'd you find out about this place? Uh, you know, I'm just out around town. I see a spot. I'm like, you know what? That spot looks good. Usually, it's not the case. I don't think Waleed took us to one spot that was, like, bad. Perfect. Because I'm running out of spots. This is <laughs> yeah. the last spot. Like, after I hope this, you guys like, are fun. hungry after this. Just want to make sure you guys' food is good, you know? This is the last spot I know. And if this isn't good, I'm fucked. So this is, like, really good? Supposedly, it's supposed to be fire. Eh, decent. Mm. This wall looks like um, like someone's trying to order one, but then they by accident they press six, <laughs> and then you guys all got it. You're like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's not waste them. Great love, make your mark, respect. Hustle. Who chose these out? It's like so vague. Dude. Real talk. That's, that's like the funny thing. It's just like this is general shit. Yeah, just make you. your mark. Love, eat, pray. <laughs> so what do you do here again? Oh, so I'm actually uh, I'm actually uh, she gone? All right. Yeah, I'm actually like the head. Um, Executive here. Huh. So what does like a, a regular day look like for a head executive? Oh, I come in here probably like around like 1 p.m. Stay around here for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I check my email, I don't send anything out, and then I leave. And yo, they fucking pay me for it. How crazy is that? Russell? He doesn't even know, man. He's so stupid. What up? Oh, hey, Russell. <laughs> you said you're CEO of ADD, right? No, that's right. Alright, come on. That's right. go down. I'm about to show these niggas how to cook. What y'all finna make, what y'all make dog? Yo, some shit. That's how I know this shit ain't gonna be nothing. Alright, boom, so it's going down. Okay. Have a little cook up. We got that weak ass bacon right here. It's yeah, baking yeah, put a whole take baby pig in that bitch. This is what we're not gonna do. Our bacon going down. First, I've been cheating with the Canadian bacon. This shit is not Canadian bacon, nigga. This shit is bologna. Alright, so we came through with them hot ass double decker quesadillas. Notice the crunch wrap. Pay close attention to the amount of cheese. Close attention to the garnishments. They came through with the regular ass uh -huh. sandwich. Uh huh, uh huh. Um, there ain't nothing regular about that. That is a bacon, egg, and cheese, grilled cheese sandwich. Now, I'm gonna make that where these Bamas from. Bamas, that's a DC word. That's too many layers, man. It's chewy. I'm just doing it. Okay. I don't even taste like bacon. Bacon's supposed to be like crispy and crunchy and salty, and that literally tastes like. You know what? Deli Alright, so we done. Nigga, my nut swag. My nut sack. Uh, That's that nut swag. My nut sack. Mad sweaty. They give us the whack ass bacon. Uh, we lost the competition. Ladies, please hit me up. I can cook. I know you've seen the craftiness in there. What's wrong, babe? You lost to a 300 pound real cook. You can Google me. I don't play with food. What I look up on Google? What? What I'm supposed to search? Ain't your mama, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby L. Cinnabon. You don't know who you talking to. <laughs> Alright, so you know, full day of work. What'd you get done today? Nothing, no, no, don't worry about it. Just, just turn this off. Let's head out, huh? You guys tell Russell to suck my dick, you know? <laughs> I think I haven't got fired yet. What is that? It has cameras on. Does it talk to you and shit? Hey, what's good? You lost? <laughs> you lost, motherfucker? You Skynet looking. We just start punching in the ribs. You just knock him over. It has a gun. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to his car. Oh, He's yeah. going to his whip. He's like, fuck this shit, I'm off. I bet he just got fired. Alright, so we got this brand new drone. We really want to get some sick ass shots in Hawaii. Probably end up going one sick ass shot, but so we're gonna we're gonna try flying this shit for the first time right now. I'm kind of paranoid. I was trying I was trying to push for flying it over a field or some shit. <laughs> Out of his hands. <laughs> uh, I think we're in a no fly zone. 